And then we go to the third movement, where is your theme there, you know, trying to discover this something inside you. But it's troubling, it's hard for every one of us, you know. So that's why mm -hmm. the harmonies are even uh, like polytonal, even, no? With the, you know, that I play these kinds of chords. Play with major minor tonalities because it creates this like very rough tension of trying to find something that may or may not exist mm -hmm. to you. So this is something very interesting. I noticed uh, when, when um, one part of passage is uh, doesn't have a minor major, uh -huh. really, and then the another suddenly has a typical major. Exactly. This is uh -huh. something surprising that I thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about, can I just, because we are kind of talking about the harmony and, 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 and the uh, chords you're using, basically, right? Mm -hmm. It starts, like you said, because it starts very open. It starts very open with fourth and fifth mostly and those disjointed melodies. Mm -hmm. uh, but from the second movement onwards, and especially after the second movement, mm -hmm. it becomes very strongly tonal, mm -hmm. right? Yes. How, how conscious was his decision to go into, like, Mm -hmm. You know, like the, all the beds, for example, they sound proper, proper, proper tonal, right? Yes. Which is kind of is an outcome of the of of the harmony from the first movement, or is it, or are you just juxtaposition basically, just juxtaposing those two things? Mm -hmm. You know, it was interesting during the first movement, the uh, second movement. I mean, I came with the melody first, mm -hmm. the idea of, me of the melody of doing the uh, yeah. The bell like melody. The bell like melody. Mm -hmm. And then the process when I was writing it was to find a harmony that would enable that melody to work, but not make it sound ridiculous, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because it's it's a simple melody, you know. And I, I could make it sound more major or more minor or whatever. Mm -hmm. So then my choice to to create this journey of, of what I wanted to create. I started using again like some some form of major minor melodies mm -hmm. or major chords with added tone. Yes. You know, uh, like uh, the first chord, you know, like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, or the other one that I use um, is like this or like yeah. this, which I sometimes switch to seven and sometimes to the. Uh, Because in the end, the pitch of bells to me sometimes is not really in tune, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you hear That's it in the exactly. distance, yes, yes. and it's like a ring that sometimes the harmonics change as you hear mm -hmm. them. Like, mm -hmm. So I, I didn't want to be like too precise with, yes. with that. Okay. That, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That's really good.